Hey guys, welcome back to the Prem and Proper channel. This is part five of my Savannah travel vlog. And in this video, I am sharing with you all a cooking class that we took while we were in Savannah. So there is a cooking school at the mansion on Forsyth Park. And so we decided to take this cooking class. So it is a cooking school and it's called the 700 Kitchen Cooking School at the mansion. And the class is taught by a master chef they have different classes that you can do, but based on the scheduling and availability of when we were there, we decided to do the hors d'oeuvre class. So they have other classes um, such as a, an Italian, um, Italian food class, Southern dishes. Um, they have like a Mother's Day brunch um, style Thanksgiving. So depending on when you are there, you may be able to do other types of classes. So water, eggs, and a little bit of vinegar. And the vinegar just changes the pH, uh, which I think makes it a little bit flakier. So I'm just using one hand here just to try to get this to come together. Again, I don't want to over mix it, so I'm just using it as little kneading as possible. I will have to knead it a little bit just to get it to fully come together. This was a very interactive cooking class where the master chef gave us all the knowledge and skills that we needed to prepare the dishes that we were preparing. And for our hors d'oeuvres, we made things like crab cakes and empanadas and shrimp pot stickers, um, filet mignon asada. So it was a variety of stuff that we made in about two hours. And we did that very quickly. It was very impressive and also very fun. We got coffee, just like coffee from the house, right? Balsamic vinegar, maple syrup, bacon. This is bacon I got from the market, the farmer's market that is. Onions, um, this is a local blue cheese out of Thomasville, Georgia, and a whole bunch of brown sugar, and we'll put it on some uh, Christine. So we'll start with the onions. Now we get a lot of questions about onions, uh, more than any other kind of vegetable. Now because if you're going to dice it, you know, you're starting with something round, so it's not that easy really. Uh, but I think the most common state is people will want to cut off, they'll start by cutting both sides off the onion. And really, if you look at it, so you've got a stem and then you have a root. So the plant's coming up here, the roots are coming out here. You're going to leave the root part on and you'll take off the stem, okay? Now also, that'll help make it flat on our cutting board. So I'm going to cut through the root. Now it's flat, right? So we'll go ahead and peel this and we'll do three distinct cuts. We'll do a chop, we'll do a horizontal sawing kind of motion, and then the last cut is really the one you really need to remember. That's the one where you're sawing forward and also pushing down at the same time like this. I see some TV chefs will call it uh, rocking the bone or, you know, and I think it's a pretty good analogy actually. Mm -hmm. So the other thing I would point out is a little bit of ergonomics, right? So everybody's built a little differently. For me, if I stand square at the cutting board, my arm just kind of goes that direction. It's just how I'm built. So what I do to make it more comfortable for me is I'll turn my body a little bit. So now my arm is naturally perpendicular to the cutting board. So I'm not trying to contort my arm to go in the direction. And also for me, it's easier to visually look at it you know, it's going to be squared up, right? It'll be a little easier to see what a dice is supposed to look like and cut straight. Uh, the other thing is protect your hands. Don't do this. Don't lay your hands on top of the onion or your thumb in particular. That's where most people get cut, just like that. So what we do, we curl our fingers underneath. I don't know if you can see this. So your, your fingers are curled underneath, your thumb is in the back, away from the knife. So I'll begin by just cutting straight down. Okay, then I'll turn this sideways. And I'm a taller guy, so I'm gonna get down where I can see a little bit better. 
Okay. All right. And then the, the rocking the boat motion. And when I do this, it doesn't make a lot of noise, right? Because I'm not forcing the knife. I'm not trying to muscle the knife through the onion. Right? I'm sawing the knife. So if you're cutting like this, if you're going through and cutting like this, you hear that noise? That's not what I'm doing. I'm doing this. So, and I know that's a little, that's going to be hard for some people to get used to if you're used to doing it the other way. Now, if I want to get this off the cutting board, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take the cutting board, pull it to the edge of the table, and then take my hand and just sweep it in. You don't want to do this because you're making your knife dull. And even if you use the other side, you're swinging around the sharp object. So you, and definitely please in the class, don't pick up your cutting board and bring it over and, and do this. <laughs> Basically what we learned in that section of our cooking class is that we have been cutting our onions wrongly all this while. And so we will not be cutting our onions that way anymore based on what we learned. cook your dough. And this is so simple to make that once you've done it a few times, you really don't even need to measure it. And I've done it more than a few times. And really at this point, I'm just trying to get the dough to come together. And we'll, what we'll do is we'll transfer this onto the, the marble cooked surface and we'll knead it out. Okay, that feels pretty. I'm gonna press this together and knead it. It doesn't have to be a perfectly particular size. No, I can't do it. I'm not going to 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 do it. I'm not if this is your first time on our channel or if it's not but you haven't subscribed i hope you will subscribe to our channel if you enjoy this video please give us a thumbs up so that our video will be recommended to other viewers 
and please share this video with somebody else who might also enjoy it. When they all get about this big, they're okay. okay. And I can just slide on, what you do is you can just slide it on here. Okay, all right. Make it all mixed together. Okay, okay, all right. I think I'll present it to you, I'm not going to. I'll probably be a mark with Sanna. Do we want the bacon to be crunchy? Uh, we're going to get it close to crispy, and then, yeah. Okay. It's going to get it crunchy. We're saving all the fat. Okay. And we're going to saute the onions and in the fat. fat. Okay. That's it. My shoulder hurts. <laughs> oh, this is what happened oh. to me. <laughs> hey, Baba, when you're on bridge, eh? Yeah. Oh, because he did say we're going to use the fat from here. This comes off. Just take a spoon. Okay, while he's working on that. Yes, sir. You can get to use them just for the camera. Jalapenos. With these jalapenos. Jason. Yeah. Is the bacon okay? Oh, yeah. Go ahead and turn that off. Yes, you yeah, did. You did. <laughs> All right, can you please help me with this one? It's okay. We're gonna Don't take worry, everyone. I think that was bad. Yeah, we're gonna take some of that. I didn't know, you know, this. You ready? What's it? <laughs> I saw. Lonely Kaka. I enjoy the chinini now. Ready? Yes, the yes, this is a real friend. Uh, that's vinegar, right? Vinegar, uh, balsamic vinegar, and yeah. coffee. And coffee. 
Okay, so here's a Um, I think salt, salt and salt yeah, and salt pepper. And yeah. yeah. I will. Uh, I'll give it a recipe too. Oh, that'd be great. So what is this? This is a crab cake. Crab cake. Uh, I can't get my hand in there. What's in there? What? How did you? Um, crab meat. So it's got crab. <laughs> it's got crab meat. It's got. Uh, Rich cracker, uh, mayonnaise, mustard, old bay, and, and uh, chives. You said uh, Ritz, like the Ritz cracker. Crushed up. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So what we're going to do here. Yeah, it doesn't look like a lot of crackers. Okay. So one person will be the scooper. And then the rest, somebody else can make this round and flat. It's like a little hockey putt. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I see it around and a little bit flat to her. Sesame oil, chopped ginger, and chopped garlic. <laughs> and then I put an egg white in there. And then grab a little bit of cornstarch. Mm. All right. Put the bacon back in. Okay. So mix. That don't really well. Okay. All right. I'm gonna measure out a very specific amount of brown sugar in here. Oh. Ooh. There you go. Jam. You can't jam. I'm gonna do this sugar in here. And then 
He said measure out. Measure out. Measure out. So don't use like uh, don't use log cabin. Open it, 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 open yeah, yeah, yeah. If you go there. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. Yes, it smells I'm good. I'm okay. 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 i am okay 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 i Somebody else pick up all the stuff in between. Uh, I'll do that. One. I'll be the. I'll be the. Make, yeah, there you yeah. go. Touch it. Yeah, perfect. And what about what about what do we do with the? Just, you can leave them right on the, the table. Jump. All you need to do is pick out the, the bits. Yeah, that yeah. Right. Right. Oh. Lots of hands on the pots. When do you prefer to? Oh yeah, no yeah, no yeah, no yeah. Okay, no more Hey, sister, I need my <laughs> no pressure about All right, then. I forgot my Sorry. No, no, you're fine. I just. Multiple people on this. Okay. So this is important. Okay. Don't put too much meat on it. Okay. Too much is not a good thing. Okay. Less is more. Okay, let me give you a minute. That's why it needs to be kind of What happens with the yolk? The yolk can't be mixed with the How do you do that? It's called bumping. Very carefully, I guess. One person can go through an egg wash, and everybody else can go in and start closing it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna call the egg wash. All right. I like 
So follow <laughs> her and close it up. There's the Packers, oh. the Sealers, and the Forkers. You're right. Yeah. Got that, right? yeah, but that's so cool. the She's the, the, the champion forker. <laughs> <laughs> and then you just got a meat spice. That's not way in. Look at Jason. Is that perfect? Perfect. 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 So. Oh, wow. This is perfect. This is how I want you guys to do it. It's a mutual perfect. The key is gentle. Yeah. You gotta be gentle. Yeah. Wow. His looks so. You don't need to be seeing it. No, no, it's a tenant. You're going yours a little too thin, a little too thin. And also, what I think you're doing is you're rolling one direction. You just kind of roll one, a couple times, turn it, roll it back a couple times, and it'll stay. <laughs> but here's here's a good thing. Even if they they look kind of crazy, they all taste good. So. <laughs> um. No. So uh, what's this? Steak. Steak. Okay. I like it too. Okay, when you pull out, yeah. That looks so good. Mm -hmm. Turn over? No, because when I checked, some of them were. Well, go ahead right. and turn it over. What I'm going to do, I'm going to pop it into this. All right. Be straight to it. Yeah, I try to make as much as I can in the class. Unless it's something right. you can't make or if it's a little bit too much, you can just kind of pop it in. Yeah, you can just kind of pop it in. And we are all done. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you would like me to do any videos where I share the recipes for any of these hors d'oeuvres that we learned in our cooking class, I do have the full recipe. So if you would like me to share them, let me know in the comments and I will make videos sharing these recipes. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. And I can't wait to see you back on our channel again. Bye guys.